Okay, we are back with the latest part of the Tamiya versus Monogram Miami Vice Ferrari Testarossa comparison. We'll be looking at the completed interiors, or just about complete. Okay, before final assembly, just thought I'd point out some of the differences between the two interiors. This is the Tamiya. That's the monogram. First major difference is that the monogram is made up of uh, three, three separate components. The door cards being separate from the tub itself. Whereas on the Tamiya, it's just one complete assembly. The door cards and the interior tub are all one part. Now let's compare some of the details. The monogram includes the upper part of the center console with the dashboard assembly itself. Let's see if we can focus on there. The pedals are molded into the floor. They're not very well represented. The rear portion of the tub has the belt for the luggage straps molded in. Here we have the handbrake assembly molded in. Whereas on the Tamiya, the handbrake assembly was a separate part which had to be installed. The floor of the Tamiya actually has the seat tracks for the seats molded into it, which is an interesting detail that no one will ever see once the seats are installed. The Tamiya has the entire center console, including the upper stack, as part of the assembly of the tub. But where it diff which is where it differs from the monogram, in which part in which that is part of the dashboard assembly. Now, one interesting aspect of the Tamiya is that this entire area here, so we can focus, is completely blank. Whereas, if we look at it on the dashboard of the monogram. It's engraved with all the details, gauges, that it's that are supposed to be there. Now, why Tamiya chose not to include those details, I don't know. I fabricated a couple of dividers just to put a little something in there to simulate the dividers between the components on the actual console. This is one place where the monogram completely surpasses the Termia in that the center console components seem to be better represented than what's on the uh, Termia. Dashboard assembly itself is also nicely molded. The door cards, on the other hand, are not. Just a vague representation of what's in the Tamiya. Or what's in the real car. While the Tamiya has fully molded pieces, which are separate, which contain the complete armrest assembly and upper door edge. In full detail, Here we can see the entire assembly on the driver's side with the handbrake assembly. The foot pedals also on the Tamiya are separate pieces which contain a complete brake and clutch pedal assembly and gas pedal assembly, which is uh, very nicely done. Here you can see the center console on the Tamiya where even the 
molding of the switch gear in the center console is not done quite as nicely as what's on the monogram. The shifters on both are about the same. Let's see, focus here. Now, let's put them together so we can see what the finished model looks like. Oh, one thing I forgot was the Tamiya also did not include the luggage straps. So I fabricated my own out of leather using on a cord, which I found at Hobby Lobby. Small strips of leather. Seem to fit perfectly here. Then I fabricated using sheets, some styrene strips, the buckle assemblies. But uh, let's put them together and compare what the completed interiors will look like. Okay, here we have the interiors almost fully assembled. And here you can see that the, this is where the Tamiya excels. And you can see that the door armrests are molded perfectly to match the dashboard. Just like in the real car. It's a perfect, almost perfect representation of the entire armrest dashboard assembly. Whereas on the monogram... Even though the dashboard is very nicely molded on the monogram, the door cards and the door assemblies are not. The armrests are too narrow. And they don't exactly line up well with the dashboards. I mean, it's... They sort of work, but not to the quality of the Tamiya. And there you can see I added locking powder for carpeting there is the Crockett's phone which I sourced from a 124th scale Pontiac Fiero GT model kit overall both interiors do look good the Tamiya has better fit and finish uh, but the monogram's details surpass the Tamiya here And the center stack is really where that shows. Where you can see all the detail in the monogram. And the, uh, the dash is not sitting correctly here. Let's just sit that down properly. At least I can just do, reassemble this. Okay, that's a little better. The dash wasn't seated properly. But as you see, it's still the fit is not as good as what's in the Tamiya. Now the Tamiya cabin also looks a little narrower, but that's because the armrests are wider than what's in the monogram. Even though the dimensions between the two are slightly different. What really detracts from the Tamiya is the lack of detail in the center consoles. And uh, that's just... Disappointing and somewhat surprising from Tamiya. I would have expected them better. Here we can see the gauges. Both decals come from the Tamiya kit. It had two, so I decided to install them in the uh, in both cars. So there you have it. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Let's take a look at the seats. The seats are nicely made on both. The only disappointing part of both seats are the fact that this is the Tamiya. There is no rear filler panel, which means I'm going to have to fabricate one. And the same in the monogram, there is no filler panel so I will be 
fabricating those and possibly fabricating seat belts. But the seats all have the Ferrari emblem engraved. Hey, we removed the door card. You can see a little better into the monogram. You see, to me, we can't remove the door card because it's all one piece in the entire tub, but we can get you a better, better look there. But to me, it also has molded floor mats. Uh, floor pads in the carpeting much like the real car whereas the Tamiya uh, I mean the Tamiya has that the monogram does not a little more realism there in the Tamiya on the floor so overall the Tamiya presents better and fits better but the monogram has Surpass it to me in the details. Unfortunately, neither one brought a phone, so I decided to. Uh, so the Pontiac Fiero had to step in and supply them. So there you have it. both interiors final verdict is the Timia has better fit and finish the monogram has better detailing whichever one is more important to you I guess that's where we'll decide on what kind of kit you want I like them both and the Tamiya, the only reason it's not a clear winner is because of the lack of detail on that center console. All right. See you in the next chapter.